Hello everyone. Let's discuss why BOCS, that is Yale Brown Obsessive Compulsive Scale. Now, what is YBOCS? YBOCS is a measure that is used to check the severity, the nature of OCD symptoms. Now, this particular scale was developed by Goodman et al. in the year 1989. Do you need to learn this? No, you do not. Moving on. This is a widely used psychometric measure, a psychometric measure, any measure that measures your in certain traits. It's a widely used psychometric measure. So if you talk about application of psychology to everyday life, yes, this is very popular. Yes, this is very helpful. Now, taking it ahead, what all does it measure? It measures the nature that is typically the nature of your symptoms and at the same time, the severity of your symptoms. As I speak about the nature of the symptoms over here, typically the symptoms that you've had in the last week, right? So if you talk about the symptoms that you've had in the last week, remember they could always be retrospectivity or recalling issues. So that's a glitch, that's a flaw, that's a weakness. Number two, like I said, the severity of these symptoms is also measured. How does this, uh, uh, how does this YBOCS work? Initially, there's a detailed checklist that is provided to identify the different types of obsessions and compulsions. So if there's a patient, there's a detailed checklist that is provided to the patient to be able to identify the different types of obsessions and compulsions he or she might be experiencing, followed by the clinician, uh, uh, clinician reviewing that checklist, followed by a semi-structured interview that is used by a trained clinician, right? So just keep these thing, three things in mind, and I'll take this ahead. So about uh, about some about about uh, the Yale Brown obsessive compulsive scale. What is it? It is an example of a semi structured interview. It is uh, an interview that takes good about thirty minutes, which of course is a lot more time than the typical MOCI was taking. So if you talk about a comparison, there are certain things that are uh, uh, that that are considered better when it comes to YBOCS, and at the same time, there are certain things that are considered better when it comes to the MOCI. <laughs> now, it is a semi-structured interview, which typically takes around 30 minutes. We had spoken about a symptom checklist. Through this symptom checklist, an individual's obsessions or the nature of their obsessions is measured. And along with that, the nature of compulsions is uh, taken uh, noted as well. Moving on towards the severity scale, there's a severity scale that is used, which has 10 items in it. And what sort of severity are we talking about? The amount of time an individual spends, the amount of distress an individual experiences, and the extent to which these obsessions and compulsions interfere their day-to-day -day routine. Moving on towards the scoring end, each item on the severity scale is rated from zero to four, where zero is none and four is extreme. The total score ranges from zero to 40 with higher scores indicating more severe OCD. About the areas that are assessed over here, like we discussed a minute ago, the amount of time that is spent, the extent to which uh, your obsessions and compulsions interfere your day-to-day -day routine, uh, routine, the extent to which you experience distress, the extent to which you try to resist it and the lack of control you experience. Moving on towards the strengths and limitations. If you talk about the strengths of YBOCS, this provides you with a detailed assessment of OCD severity as compared to MOCI. This can help track changes in symptoms over time for effectiveness of the treatment. This can help track changes. This can help track changes in symptoms over time for effectiveness of treatment. So if there's someone who uh, has OCD. If there's someone who has OCD, what you can do is pre the treatment, before the treatment, you could make the individual uh, uh, go through, uh, you could you could use uh, YBOCS to collect data. And after the treatment, that is post the treatment, you could again put YBOCS scale to use. Moving on towards the limitations here, it is more time consuming as compared to the MOCI. It requires a trained professional to administer YBOCS. Now, this being here, if I uh, quickly show you the, I mean, this is more about YBUCS. You can just pause this and give it a read. And here you go. This tells us more about the YBOCS. I hope this has been helpful. Thank you.